What is up everyone, my name's Al from Games Room, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Evercade VS. The news finally dropped. Now I've already seen this trailer, so for you guys and girls out there who haven't seen it, this is it. Let's take a look. Look at that D-pad, they've kept the D-pad. Just start and select. Shoulder buttons. That means PlayStation 1 games. We can see more of them coming soon. Without a shadow of a doubt. Look at that. Yes. Pre-order it in May, guys. Now, here's a thing. Let's go back a sec. Cancel. Let's replay. So, obviously, I originally thought we were going to be getting a... It was just going to be versus, and they were just going to unlock the multiplayer capability i mean obviously they've clearly essentially done that here with this system but does this mean that's also going to come to the handheld itself i'd assume that is the case cool thing obviously so we just look at some of the uh, images here when it's sort of coming out of the darkness and boom there it is i think it's a, that's a handsome looking system it's you know it sticks very closely to the original, the way that the original looks. I really like the style, to be fair. I like the fact it's just USB. Um, let me go around the back. Oh, hold on. I've gone too far now. HDMI, HDMI out. I can assume that's a reset button. Is that a reset button? Must be a reset button. And obviously power. And then obviously it's four players, guys. Four players, same room multiplayer. Now, one thing I will say, by the way, I love the controller design. I think, again, they've stuck exactly to the same sort of the way that the console or the handheld looks. And, um, yeah, I really love the way they've done that. Um, you know, obviously, there's no price listed yet. I'm starting to wonder what the price is going to be, looking at what it comes with. I'm assuming it comes with two controllers. I love the fact they kept the D-pad the same. You got the double uh, shoulder triggers, which obviously means PlayStation One games pretty much future-proof. That, um, yeah, I mean, look at that. I really love that control. I think it looks great. Then you can also put two games in at once, two game collections, I should say, at once. That's awesome because that means you can just keep a couple in there that you always play, and then you can switch them out if you want. I think that's a really good idea. They also said built-in Wi-Fi, 1080p output via HDMI. Built-in Wi-Fi for your, your firmware updates. That's good, but I'm glad they didn't make it online multiplayer. I'm so glad they haven't done that. Because then you lose the key essence of what this console is meant to be. This is going to be great, guys. It really, really is. I mean, obviously all the decent collections. 480 games and counting. It's just growing. Now, obviously, look at that dashboard. We've never seen this dashboard yet. Um, so obviously it lists off all the games that you've got in the with the two cartridges at a time. So I really like that. It looks like a nice simple design. Really like the way that looks. I think it looks great actually, to be fair. And then it gives you more info on the games. As well as your save states. I think that looks really, really cool. I really like the look of that. What's it say? Can be used with, as an additional controller. Obviously you've got to buy the cable. To be able to connect your Evercade up to it to use as a controller. Mate, 
November 2021, it's coming out. Perfect in time for Christmas. God, we got ages to wait now. Um, seven months. But you can pre-order it in May. I'll be surprised if the numbers don't go ballistic with all of the collections getting, you know, coming out very, very soon. It's starting to get announced. Obviously, there's still Worms to come out. Still the Codemasters one to come out. Obviously, so much happening with this one, guys. It just looks awesome. Anyway, I've been now from Games Rip. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Comment on what you think of this product. Like I said, I think this looks fantastic. I can imagine some people are going to say, well, if it's got Wi-Fi, does that... Why is there no online multiplayer? I... You know, I we all know that I don't want online multiplayer. This is all meant to be local multiplayer. That's how old school gaming was. That's what their market is. Um, but obviously, feel free to comment. I'd love to see what you guys all think. I've been out from Games Rip. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's right. And I'll see you all soon.